Tiny 11 felt minimal, but Tiny 11 Lite is the real bare metal windows. Hi, this is Neil from HT. Tiny 11 Lite takes everything great about Tiny 11 and strips it down even further. It's based on the latest 25 H2 build, fully stable with no expiry, because all the unstable parts have been removed. What you get is the lightest, fastest version of Windows you'll ever run. The start menu on Tiny 11 Lite is absolutely clean. No sponsored junk, no ads, no useless recommendations, just a blank space for you to add only what you need. Compare that to Microsoft's Windows 11, where the start menu looks more like a billboard than a tool. In accessories, you'll find only the essentials, nothing extra to slow you down. And if you check settings under apps, the list is completely empty. That means nothing hidden is running in the background, eating your RAM and killing performance. Last time we compared Tiny 11 to Windows 11, but today it's all three. Starting with Windows 11, a massive 22.8 gigabytes right out of the box. And that's with nothing installed. Now let's move to Tiny 1125H2. When installed, it takes barely seven gigabytes with every important Windows feature intact. Compare that to stock Windows 11 eating over 22 gigs just to sit there. And if you thought, thought seven gigs was lean, Tiny 11 Lite strips it down to just six gigabytes. That's right, the full 25H2 build. And the best part, all your apps and games still run perfectly. Let's talk about RAM, the one thing Windows loves to waste. On a fresh Windows 11 install, you're already losing 2.8 gigabytes just sitting idle. That's before you even click anything. Imagine paying for extra RAM, only to have the system swallow it for no reason. Now watch what happens with Tiny 11. That number drops to around 1.5 to 1.6 gigabytes, nearly half. And the best part is nothing useful is cut. You still get the full Windows 11 experience, but without the system hogging your memory. And then there's Tiny 11 Lite, only 1.3 to 1.4 gigabytes. For a full 25H2 system, that's insanely light. That means your RAM is finally free to power your apps, your games, your work, not Microsoft's bloat. And if you want to squeeze out even more performance with even less RAM usage, check out my app, Velotic. Velotic is built for people who demand performance. It doesn't just raise FPS. It optimizes your entire PC. CPU and GPU settings are tuned automatically, junk files are removed the moment they appear, and hidden slowdowns are fixed in real time. With 500 plus advanced tweaks, you control every part of your system. Debloat windows in one click, install apps instantly, unlock hidden hardware features and manage power plans for maximum speed. Even storage issues are solved. Velotic compresses files safely, freeing up to 70% more space without deleting anything. This isn't a quick hack or a free cleaner. Velotic has been engineered over three years, tested by thousands and updated constantly. At just $19.99, it's a one-time purchase that pays itself back every time your PC runs faster, smoother, and cleaner. If you want your system to run at full potential without effort, Velotic delivers. Time for the Geekbench 6 stress test on Windows 11. Now here's the funny part. Microsoft fills the OS with ads, bloatware, and background junk, then claims it's optimized for performance. You try running anything serious and it crawls like it's carrying bricks. Even with a decent CPU, Windows 11 struggles. And when the scores finally drop, it's laughable. Just 2,218 in single core and 5,679 in multi core. That's your modern Windows 11. Spoiler alert, it lost. Let's put Tiny 11 to the Geekbench 6 stress test. I've been creating these builds for the last four years with over 50,000 users trusting them worldwide. Every tweak is designed to remove bloat while keeping full Windows functionality. Unlike Windows 11, Nothing unnecessary runs in the background, so your CPU and RAM are fully available for performance. You'd expect a tiny build to lag, but it doesn't. The results, single core, 2,433, multi-core, 6,433. And yes, we can push these numbers even higher. Microsoft could never get this kind of efficiency with their bloated releases. I've put the official YouTube video guide to safely install this build in the description. 
Before revealing the scores, note that this is Tiny 11 Lite, completely stripped down with no Defender, no updates, and no Microsoft Store. If you need those, you should use the regular Tiny 11 instead. If you're enjoying this deep dive, consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel to stay updated with all Tiny 11 builds and performance tests. Your support helps me keep making these guides and optimized builds for you. After running Geekbench 6, Tiny 11 Lite scores 2,479 single core and 6,722 multi-core. Check the graph I've put together to see the results for yourself. Now for the final part, as promised, here is Tiny 1125H2V6 Lite, running on just 256 megabytes of RAM. This is the ultimate stress test for any Tiny 11 or custom OS. If it passes, you know the build is solid and reliable. If it fails, it's instantly rejected. Watch it boot. And to prove it, you'll see the RAM usage right in Task Manager once it loads. Is it fast with only 256 megabytes? No, don't expect miracles. Is it usable? Maybe, depending on what you do. But does it actually run? Absolutely. Most other light OS builds completely fail this test, crashing or freezing instantly. And to show you this is truly Tiny 11 Lite, I'll open the Configure app, and you can see the branding right there. Everything works as intended. This test proves that even on extremely low RAM systems, Tiny 11 Lite remains functional, stable, and safe to use. Your system may be minimal, but your control and performance are fully in your hands. Now for a quick recap, Tiny 11 includes Windows updates, Defender, and Microsoft Store, while the Lite does not. Neither version contains any bloatware. Both are good for gaming, with Tiny 11 Lite offering even better performance on low-end systems. Tiny 11 provides broader software compatibility, but both support a lot of for system optimization. Tiny 11 requires seven to eight gigabytes of disk space, whereas Tiny 11 Lite takes only five to six gigabytes. Both support full web browsing drivers and Windows subsystem, making them versatile choices depending on your needs. Tiny 11 is for anyone who wants a fast, stable Windows experience without bloat. Perfect for everyday use, modern software, gamers, developers, and editors needing a clean system. Tiny 11 Lite is for extreme minimalists, low-end PCs, and users who want maximum performance in the smallest footprint. Great for gaming-focused builds and tech enthusiasts who want full control. Like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next video. This is the Harbor of Tech, sailing off.